Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'll be cooking this delicious jackfruit meal with a side of Spanish rice and beans. If you want how to learn, if you want to learn how to cook this meal, please subscribe and continue watching this video. Let's get to it and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Chicken if you got it. Chicken if you got it, what you asking? So you know that I got that cash. You don't even have to ask. First thing first, I added water to the pot and wait for it to get to a boil. This is the jackfruit that I'll be using. It is from Trader Joe's. The best way to remove the brine taste from jackfruit is to boil it in hot water for 10 minutes. Here is a close-up of the texture of the jackfruit. I only use one can of jackfruit, but if you are serving two people, it is best to use two cans. While I wait 10 minutes for the jackfruit to be done, I am going to get started on the Spanish rice. I already added some oil to the pan and one cup of white jasmine rice. I continue to stir the rice until I see the rice change to a light brown color. I am now going to add my minced garlic and right after I will add onions. going to let the onions and the garlic cook with the rice for about a minute, a minute and a half before I add the tomato sauce. I will just now have the sauce cook and marinate with the rice for about another minute, minute and a half. Once the rice is at a nice red color, I then add my two cups of water. I am just going to keep stirring and stirring so everything is mixed well. And this is the seasoning I use for my Spanish rice.
Before I cover the rice with a lid, I make sure that the water comes to a boil. And then I cover the lid and put the rice to low heat. And again, one of the most important steps to prepare jackfruit is to make sure you drain all of the water-like fluid from the actual jackfruit. just going to squeeze the fluid out of the jackfruit and you could see how much water and brine is coming out. This is how much fluid I was able to drain from the jackfruit. Now it's time to cook the jackfruit. Now that it is drained, I add a little bit of oil and vegan butter to my pot and wait for it to warm up. jackfruit for about 20 minutes total 10 minutes on medium temp and 10 minutes on high breaking the jackfruit into smaller pieces that is what I prefer and desire once the jackfruit has cooked for about three minutes I then add my garlic followed by onions This is the seasoning I use for the jackfruit.
I am going to cook the jackfruit on high heat for a little bit longer so it could have a crispy texture. And while that is cooking, I'm going to get started on the beans. I get a can of whole black beans. I'm going to make homemade refried beans. I added a little bit more than half of the canned beans in the blender and will save the other half to put in the pot once it's ready to cook. I also add garlic and onions and some seasoning in the blender. So everything will come out nice and smooth and ready to be cooked. I do not blend the beans for long, I still want there to be a beanie texture. I then add the leftover whole beans I had in the can. And I just stir that up and let it cook for about 10 minutes. This is what the jackfruit looks like at the end. Also my Spanish rice. And can't forget about the refried beans. My fiance made the tortillas and this is what my plate looks like. I added a little bit of lime and y'all it was delicious. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. Comment your thoughts below on this delicious meal. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoy and I hope to catch you in the next one. Thank you.